We've come a long way from the boring, tiny aluminum heatsink that comes bundled with your CPU. Enter Trix and their new Panorama SE AIO that combines performance, simplicity, and a supremely customizable design all into one elegant package that comes in at a more competitive price point. They've sponsored this video for me to highlight a lot of the key upgrades that they've made to the SE that'll make it the star of your next gen PC build, because it certainly is the highlight of the PC that we have right here. AMD was gracious enough to provide a brand new Ryzen 9 9900X 3D, while ASRock provided the B650E Tai Chi motherboard with the RX 9070XT Tai Chi graphics card, all being housed in the Trix Luca L70 case. Lexar provided both the 64 gigs of Ares DDR5 6400 RAM and the two terabyte NM1080 Pro SSD. A big thanks to all of the partners that helped to put together the fabulous system that we have here so that we can show it off. Laying on top of that 12 core 3D vCache CPU from AMD is the Trix Panorama SE 360 millimeter AIO, which has the same familiar six and a half inch 2K 60 Hertz AMOLED screen that you may have seen on the previous Trix Panorama cooler. But this one, comes with a twist. You can literally twist the position of the cooler easily in a couple of seconds to get it into a different orientation. Either horizontal or vertical positioning is at your fingertips. You can create a wraparound display or even have it in a waterfall orientation. So no matter how you've built your PC, AIO tubes at the top, bottom, or somewhere else, you can always have Trix's panorama 3D visual experience coming at you in a way that you like. Or if you get bored of one orientation, you can just easily switch it up, especially with their Canali software. You can upload animations, videos, or display multiple aspects of your system info all being displayed on the cooler. So whether you wanna have the love of your life always looking at you from your CPU, or you wanna keep an eye on your system temps, all of that is beautifully displayed on the curved panel, which, thankfully, also has a great anti-glare coating that makes it clearly visible and makes it much more likely that the only glare you'll have is the glass side panel. Look at that. That's our light. And all of that info and data that's being slapped on the screen is being powered by its own independent operating system. With the Panorama SE having its own four core CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, and even eight gigabytes of ROM storage, all of that allows you to have the fun of the screen without it coming at the cost of your system's resources. This 9900X 3D doesn't have to lift the finger or a, a electron. I don't know how it works. But not only does it give you the ease of access for your software needs, it's also super simple to install. I love the trend of companies pre-installing the fans on their AIOs and tricks make sure that three ARGB Rota fans are already mounted, making the installation process hassle-free. And those Rota fans also give you RGB LED brilliance while allowing for quiet operation with their fluid dynamic bearings. And those fans blowing on your radiator combine themselves with the Asetek Adela pump that's moving all the liquid inside to cool your CPU. The new generation of the Adela pump is optimized for CPU intensive tasks and has a dynamic thermal power capacity of 280 to 300 watts of TDP that it can dissipate, which is more than enough to keep the AMD Ryzen 9 9900X 3D running at top speed. We ran a few benchmarks with this very here system to get a handle on the performance it'll deliver alongside the temps that the Panorama SE will deliver. We even put it at a slight disadvantage since if you notice, we didn't install a single intake fan on the bottom of the case or any exhaust at the top either or rear. The Panorama SE 360 is the only airflow besides the power supply that's dissipating the heat of a 9900X 3D and ASRock's RX 9070XT Tai Chi GP. You. We have the side panel off for the sake of filming the video. All benchmarks were done with the glass panel off. But that didn't really matter since even in those harsh conditions, we got both great performance as well as temps. Running a stress test pushing the 9900X3D at full tilt, the core stayed at roughly 65C and the die hotspot was just 73. During the harshest environment for the CPU itself, it did reasonably well. But what happens when you add the 9070XT into the mix and start doing some game? Dumping both the CPU GPU and GPU heat into the chassis for the panorama to dissipate. Honestly, the same temps. During most of the games, the CPU hovered around 50 to 60 degrees with the hotspot being no higher than 75 at any point. And you can see based on the benchmarks we're showing on the screen, the 9900X 3D 9070 XT is a fantastic combo for whether you want to play 1440p gaming or even some 4K. And this is all fantastic performance
buttons for a cooler that's also meant to be visually impressive. You get the whole package with the Panorama SE AIO. Stunning looks, cool temps, most importantly of all, they've got it coming in at a more affordable price point. Trix really has created a killer proposition here with the Panorama SE. So many impressive features that no other cooler manufacturer is bringing to the table. So big thanks again to Trix for sponsoring this video. You can check out the Panorama SE for yourself and really make a statement in your computer today by checking the link in the description below. All right, I'm done.